In the video today, I'm going over the most helpful tips and tricks on the Moto G Stylus 5G 2024. Let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go over how to use two apps at one time. You're going to first pick the app you want to be open at the top of the screen. I'm gonna have YouTube at the top of the screen, and then I'm gonna tap on the recent apps button in the bottom right corner, and then tap on the YouTube icon, and tap on split top. From here, I'm gonna tap on Google Chrome, and now I have YouTube open at the top of the screen here, and I can go ahead and play a video. And while that video plays, I'll be Watch able to. I have your tech guy Wayne and sit down with us. While that video plays, at the bottom, I can go ahead and browse Amazon or browse any website while this video plays, which is super convenient. I can also take the phone and I can just simply turn it to the side to rotate it. And now I can watch it in the landscape position and continue to swipe through Amazon. If you tap on the white bar here, tap it twice, it will switch and put whatever's on the right on the left and vice versa. And when you're all done and you're ready to close out split screen, take your finger and drag that white bar to the right. And that will take you out of split screen and put you back into full screen. Now, along the way in this video, if you come across any tip that is helpful, anyone, stop and bump that like button down below. It's a great way to show support for the channel and just to say thank you. Number two, I wanna show you how to keep your screen on longer. If you notice, if you don't touch your screen every 15 or 30 seconds, it will go off. But if you swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, come down to the settings wheel. From here, we're gonna to go to display. And here, simply swipe up and we're gonna go to screen timeout. Now I already have mine turned up to 10 minutes, but the phone out of the box will come either set to 15 seconds or 30 seconds. You wanna change it to at least two minutes or five minutes. I have mine on 10 because of the video. I also like to turn on the attentive display and this will keep the screen on even longer if it detects that you are actively reading something on the screen. So those are two helpful tips to help keep your screen on much longer. Now, the next tip is a really fun one. By double tapping on your power button, it'll automatically wake up your phone and it'll launch your camera. So no matter what you're doing, you can launch the camera quickly by double tapping the power button. Even if, let's say, I am on Google Chrome and I'm scrolling through Amazon, if I double tap that power button, it's gonna automatically take me over to the camera app so I never miss any important moments. So super useful feature and that uh, puts your camera always at a position where it's readily and available for you. Now, number three, let's talk about when your phone is off. If you take out the pen, the stylus pen, you will trigger something called the screen off memo. And here, if you notice, it took us right to the notes page and I can begin to drop my pen just like that. And also I can write a note. Maybe you need to quickly write down a phone number. This is a great way to do that. Okay, so again, the way it works, when your screen is off, basically take your phone out of your pocket. You need to write something important simply just take out the pen just like this and it will automatically take you to your notes so you can begin writing down whatever it is that is important maybe you're writing a shopping list you can do that because your notes will be open and ready to go now moving on to our next tip when your pen is out you're going to see this little pop-up on screen and this is going to take you to a different shortcut of apps you can use with the pen so here you can get back to your notes by tapping on the plus you have your moto notes, you have your screenshot, you have your freeform crop, gift maker, handwriting calculator. So you have all these cool functions you can access when your pen is out. Just simply look out for that little pen icon here and just tap on it, just like that. Well, we're going to our next tip. If you swipe up and go to your moto folder and then tap on the moto app, you'll find all these other really cool built-in hidden features. So you wanna swipe through the app and here, it'll begin to share some of the cool things you can do. If you wanna customize your phone, add a special theme, you wanna to go to the personalized section and tap on themes. Here, you can access a list of pre-selected, pre-curated themes with different colors. 
or you can tap on the plus in the upper right corner and here you can begin to design your own custom theme so change your background let's choose this one i like that one next tap on font you can change the style of the letters for the menus and here you can see the preview next let's go to color we can change the corresponding color with your theme let's go red our icon shape this is one of my favorites here you can see in the preview right here and then come to the top here and this is where you can name your theme so i'm just going to call this futuristic okay hit the check in the bottom right corner to save it and then hit save and now we can select that theme and it will change all the menus to correspond with those patterns so you can see my icons now look different when I swipe down, my menus are now red. So pretty cool. That's just one cool way for you to customize the phone. Now let's jump back over to that Moto app again, and let's back out of the theme section. And now let's go over to gestures. There's a lot of really cool gestures that you can access on this phone. One of my favorites is the fast flashlight feature. And this is simply taking the phone and just chopping down like this it'll automatically turn on your camera. It'll use your flash as a flashlight. Chop twice, it's off, okay? Chop again, it's back on. So this is a great feature if you need to access your flash flashlight in a pinch, simply do that chop twice and your flashlight will automatically come on. Now on the flip side, if you don't really like this feature and if you find it annoying, you simply turn it off in this menu. Some of the other cool options are gonna be the three finger screenshot, and that's taking three fingers on your screen, just like this, and that will trigger a screenshot. Now, this one is not super convenient. Um, I've heard some people say they like it. It's a little cumbersome for me because the screen tends to move, so you gotta get used to that one, play around with it a little bit. Um, another really cool one is the sidebar, which is currently turned off, so let's turn it on. So we're gonna just, Check the box here. And now, if we swipe from the edge of the phone and we just swipe in like this, it's gonna bring up this menu. And this menu is gonna have shortcuts to the most frequently used apps, but you can customize this and you can set this to be whatever apps you want. So let me go to the home screen. And if you look right here, you can see a little dash, okay? When you swipe, Along the dash, that's how you bring up that menu. Let's try it again. Here's the dash. I'm gonna swipe from the edge of the phone onto the phone, and that's what will bring up this menu. And now we can tap on the settings here if we want to change what's in that menu. Maybe you say, I don't want Google Photos, and I don't want uh, the clock. I would rather have Facebook. And you might say, I'd rather have Amazon. No problem. Simply hit the home button, and let's swipe in to access it again. And now, our menu has changed. So this is a super convenient feature that gives you access to whatever apps you use the most, customize this menu, and now you can easily get to them with a swipe. Even if you're in, for example, an app, it doesn't matter, that menu is still gonna be there and that's the other cool part. So watch this. The dash is still here, although it's hard to see, but I can still swipe over and bring up that menu. So I can quickly jump between apps without even having to go to the home screen first. Maybe I wanna go right to YouTube, I can do that. And you can have an open in a pop-up window just like this. And you can drag it around or tap on the arrows to the left here to make it full screen. So if you got value so far on that video, make sure you bump that like button down below. That's a super fun feature. Now next, I wanna show you how to download a different keyboard. Maybe you're not a fan of the stock keyboard on the phone. I don't really love this one myself. So to change the keyboard, I recommend you going to the Play Store, tapping on the search button. And here we're gonna type in Swift, S-W-I-F-T, key. This is a free app. And it's a fun app that will allow you to really customize the keyboard, change the colors, change the layout. You can get very detailed with how the keyboard responds. You can even add a nice vibrate, vibrating kickback whenever you tap a letter. 
Let me show you the installation process. So as you can see, it downloaded quickly. We're gonna tap, let's set it up. We need to go to the settings first and we need to enable it. So we've just enabled it just like that. Next, tap on select Swift key. Tap it just like that. Tap try keyboard. And now we're into the settings and here you can go to themes and you can customize the look and the layout. So these are some of the options here. I tend to like the ones that are a bit simpler. So if you go to, let's see, we scroll down a little further. There's a few that they put in, in every phone that you download the app on. Let's see, there we go. This one is my favorite. I'm gonna tap on it, hit download. If you link it with your Google account or Microsoft account, um, it does give you access to even more keyboards for free. So I just linked it with my uh, Google account. Now if I tap here, I can see what my keyboard looks like. And there it is. So a little bit of a different layout. And there's a little bit of a, a vibration kick whenever I tap on one of the keys. Now I'm going to hit the back button and go to sound and vibration. I like to turn off Android default vibration. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn up the vibration. So whenever I tap on a key, I can feel it. The phone is going to have a stronger vibration. You can also turn on a key press. So every time you tap a key, it'll make a sound. Now the phone is on do not disturb, so it's not going to make any sounds right now. But by turning this up, you can change the sound and how loud it is. And to me, it helps me type a bit better having that vibration turned on. So, all right, that's how you change your keyboard. I want to show you a really cool app to download that gives you some amazing wallpapers. Let's go to the Play Store. This is an uh, app called Backdrop. This is a free app. And this will give you really cool uh, wallpapers to choose from. The phone is obviously gonna come with some built-in and while this downloads, let me show you, if you hold down the home screen, here you can see some of the default backgrounds and themes. We can go to wallpapers. And here are some curated wallpapers. Let's go to change. So it will come with some wallpapers built in, but now that we've downloaded Backdrop, it's gonna show up as one of the options and this will give us access to so many more wallpapers. So look at this, there's so many cool wallpapers in here, they're all free. Sometimes you do have to watch an ad, but it's not that big of a deal. Like this one is a really fun one here. You just tap on set. You can do home screen, lock screen, or both. I'm just gonna do the home screen. It'll take a few seconds for it to download. Hit the home button and now we have this really fun wallpaper to use on the phone. So those are a couple of tips and tricks that I recommend you just know about and you do. The phone does so many different things but those are some of the main tweaks and things I like to talk about when I first get a new phone. So leave me a comment down below and let me know which tip was your favorite and let me know if you got value out of this video by bumping that like button down below. I'll link here to another really helpful video and I'll also link here to another really cool video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.